John, commiserations on the defeat. Um, took a bit of a special strike to do it, but what did you make of your side's performance across the 90? Uh, turnaround from Saturday to Tuesday, excellent. Very good. The first half, the, our pressure on the ball was, was superb. Uh, they, we limited them to a few chances, if any. And uh, they had to score a special goal to, to win the game. And, and we had our moments. We had our moments that we could have punished them, and uh, we didn't. Um, but if we play like that, we're, 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 to be honest, we're well and truly in this tie. This is first half. It's one nil. We're one nil down. We're back here. We don't have to go away. We don't have to play away from home. We're back here. So pleased with the performance. Obviously, we would have liked to have grabbed a goal and, and grabbed something out of the game. But uh, excited about Saturday night now. And I can see our boys excited too because they, they felt it. They felt it after the game. They were like, wow, we're, we can go. We can, we can give them some game Saturday. Well, how does this affect the dynamic of the tie now? Victory, ostensibly, as you said, it's 1-0 at half-time, but that means that maybe they can sit back a bit more in the in this next leg. You have to go for it a bit more. How does that affect things? Look, if they sit back, no problem. We'll create a chance like we created with Ben Garucho at the end and we nearly got that that goal. If they come to press us, no problem. We'll we'll play a certain way. Um, you know, we're... we're we're ready for whatever they, they try and do and we'll play our game. We, know, we don't have to panic because it's, it's one goal. We don't have to try and think that we have to do something completely different. You know, we took the game to them in the first 20 odd minutes and, and put them under pressure. And, and you know, I'm not saying that it's gonna be the same next game. It might be you know, a little few tweaks here and there from their side or from our side, but nothing drastic has to change. How much do you take out of that extra bit of intensity that we saw from you guys after victory scored that goal through Brimmer? Yeah, it'd take a lot out of it. You know, look, it, it's it, we know that we had a shorter turnaround. Now they, they've got a shorter turnaround, so it's it's a little bit even. You know, we're we're used to playing three games in a week because the last month or so we've, we, that's what we've done. Um, so our players will recover well, and um, you know the reaction was good. We didn't leave ourselves open. So that, that, that's important because it was one nil. You can leave yourself open and then cop another, another goal and then the tie could be a little bit more difficult. We kept calm, we kept moving the ball and, uh, and we had our you know, opportunities towards the end that uh, you know, we didn't make the most of, but it, all in all, pretty good. Should you have had a penalty the fifth minute when, when Lockie Wiles went over under Davidson? Well, Lockie's in front of the defender. The defender runs into Lockie. Lockie goes down. We all saw it. Uh, the referee obviously didn't see it. The uh, assistant referee didn't see it. I don't know how, but the VAR missing it. It's happened to us all season, so I expected the VAR to miss it. And the second one as well? I mean, there was another one a little bit later on in the half as well. No, that one, no. no. That one for me, no. The lucky one's clear. It's clear. Anyone that understands the game will know that's a clear penalty. There's no intent to play the ball. He's pushed him from behind. That's disappointing because... You know, when, when it's so clear, uh, you, you expect if the referee doesn't see it, and I'm not saying the, the referee had a good game, I'm not saying that he didn't. If the referee doesn't see it, then help him. Did you get any explanations? None. The reset? Nothing? None, as usual. They don't explain. And just on a more of a positive note, I mean, Josh Risden's first game back in the 11 today uh, had a really solid performance. Looked like he hasn't missed a beat. Uh, yeah. Like unbelievable, um, you know. Josh has come back from a, an operation, and to be able to perform like that uh, in a big game, you know, he's uh, he shows physically, you know, how good he he is, and and also just his his calmness on the ball in in, in certain situations, and you know, one v one, he he did well tonight because they're not easy wingers to play against, and uh, he kept them uh, pretty quiet. Even until the goal, it was a very, it was a largely even game. You were able to stay in front of the ball for the most part. But were you concerned in some aspects of just the victory's gain of territory over the course of the game until that goal? No, the only concern, and it's not a concern, the only thing that I would say that we could have done better, when we won the ball in that second half, we gave it away too quickly. That, that was the only thing. Um, but in terms of them creating anything, we weren't concerned because they weren't. They weren't creating anything. You know, we, we were very well organised. They, they were struggling to break through us. And it was just when we won the ball that, you know, at least make that first pass stick. Mm -hmm. um, because it's not always on to counter quickly. And, uh, and that, that was the only thing that I, if I'm going to 
pick on us at all because in the first half when we did it we won the ball in good areas we played and we we you know we kept the ball and and after the goal when it went one nil down we played and and that's what we could have done a little bit better in the second half but in terms of them having possession in front of us not creating much they scored a special goal yeah, yeah there was that initial kind of let's say intent to play quickly on the counter and there was a there was a lingering sense that you were rushing in certain phases of play but in more embedded phases of possession after the goal did you feel it were you happy with with how the team played you know with victory sitting off essentially yeah look there was moments that you know we we did really well and uh, there's moments that we can do better obviously but um, you know we felt that uh, we could hurt them when they sit off and in certain areas um, you know, they, of course, they, they set off because they were hanging on to the lead and they were trying to catch us, you know, being open and catch us on the counter-attack. But, um, you know, all in all, if, if they do that, we, we believe that we can still create chances. Do you think that diagonal is going to stay on the second half? Is what, sorry? Do you think that diagonal is going to stay on the way it did tonight in the, se in the second leg? Um, no, I don't know. I, I don't think. I think it will be a normal game from the start. And then as the game wears on, then, you know, the, certain things will probably change. But uh, depending on the, on the scoreline, but yeah, I'm not sure if the dynamic will change too much. Thoughts on how, um, let's say, your front four were able to, uh, let's say, incorporate the rest in possession. There was, I guess, uh, Wales and Payne seemed to be very involved in early, in earlier phases of possession to get you into the opposition's half. Uh, I guess, does that necessarily? How, how do you? How do you, is there any need to tweak that, or is there just? Look, we, we will have a look at the the game again and see where we found space and where we hurt them and where, you know, if Lockie and Connor are in good positions, uh, where Dylan uh, Wenzel Hall's, uh, how his runs uh, affected, you know, the, the, their defence and, you know, because we know that uh, playing the way that we did will shift their players. They might change it next game, I don't know, but we'll have a look and see how we, we were able to shift them and, and create space, which we, we got a, quite a bit of space with with certain players in certain areas. No, it's a bit of a, a, um, a strange one because, you know, two legs when you have home and away, when you go into like a, a different stadium and, and you're playing, um, you know, in front of, you know, their home crowd and you come back to your own crowd, that can, that can change a little bit. But this doesn't really change much because it's, it's virtually like playing you know, two halves of football, really. There might be a few more crew of people here on Saturday night because it, it is a Tuesday night, but it doesn't really change the, the, the dynamic too much. Um, you know, it's different like Adelaide and City. You know, if Adelaide don't get a result there tomorrow night in Adelaide, then it might be more of an uphill task for them. But for us, it's, it's the same. Yeah, yeah, it was very pleasing. It, it was it was really good. You know, we, the way that we were able to press them from the start and put them under pressure and uh, and also not give them time in midfield. They've got quality players. So you give them time, they, they'll hurt you. And so we're able to use that uh, intensity and uh, that's a credit to the players. They're, they're used to playing these games now, three games in, in a week. So, you know, I, I'm pleased that we were able to do that. And then, you know, because it's... Uh, you know, first and second are going to get a bit of an advantage, and they should. And uh, you know, three-day turnaround was you know pretty quick, but we coped with it well. You talk about coping well on the three-day turnaround. It's probably a good thing you did because you did only make one sub today, bringing on Dylan. Is that just a product of you know looking at your bench? It's basically entire youth players. Do you have no choice? You have to run with your starting eleven. I mean, should that be what we expect to see on the weekend as well you can't really make subs no I made subs uh, against Wellington with the younger players coming in they, look it was the way the game was going we, we had to be smart in in terms of we don't want to you know change too much when it was working pretty well in terms they weren't hurting us uh, and sometimes when you bring on players and, and put them into different positions it can it can actually affect the you know the game and, and they might you know not totally understand a certain situation as well as someone else so but you know if if we're chasing a game or you know if we're really defending a lead then we will got no problems with making subs um, no injuries or anything to come out of tonight no one to worry about 
no injuries, no injuries. We should have probably uh, Lustica back as well on Saturday. So that's a massive positive for us. And just on Rene Crin, how serious is that hamstring? Uh, he's out. Season done? Or? Yeah, he's out. And, and how well we coped. How well we coped. Again, unbelievable. Credit to the players. You know, we, we've got about five or six players out and we, and we match them like that. Brilliant. Really good. Yeah, it's hard to say. Uh, it, it's hard to say because we, we don't know, Dave, that, you know, what we would have thought about. Josh has looked good in training, so we had no issues in throwing him in. But we don't know what we would have done if everyone was fit. You know, if everyone was fit, then that would have been a good headache for me to have. Just one last one. Adisu, any chance for Saturday or is that still a big... Yeah, Adisu, less likely for Saturday.